Hey, it's Mackenzie, and I'm here at Blowout, a blow dry bar. We're going to go over some simple steps you can take at home for easy, breezy, beautiful summer hair. One of the first steps to getting that fabulous summer hair is to start with a wash at the shampoo bowl. By far the best part of getting a blowout. Then you get your hair wrapped up in chopsticks so you're dripping pretty much on your way to the chair. They wring out all that excess moisture, comb through the tangles and add Amy. She is amazing. Amy here recommends getting your hair 80% dry before you go back with a round brush. She goes back in with a medium barrel brush. And I learned here at Blowout, it's really good to take sections the size of the brush, then direct the hair forward for more volume. A fun trick Amy uses, she involves double pronged clips. They might look funny, but they set the style and allow it to cool. And the cooling process actually helps maintain the volume. Now, once you've allowed your curls to cool, you can drop your style and you'll notice there is a lot of great height without even teasing. Amy is going to move in for loose beachy curls, my favorite look. Very important, remember to always use a heat protective when using a hot tool so you don't damage your hair. Size does matter. Using a large one and a half inch barrel curling iron, Amy is wrapping in a section from mid strands in. A lot of women, including myself, used to make the mistake when curling starting at the bottom and rolling up. But you'll notice that Amy is going to put the curling iron in the middle of the hair and wrap down. That is key. Amy's using a blowout fabulous finishing spray, which is a nice working medium hold so you still have flexibility in your hair. When you get to the top sections, make sure you start your curls halfway down your hair strand. Gives it that nice, loose, sexy texture. Run your fingers through your curls, piecing them out a little bit so they're not too perfect. You want that beachy look. Now Amy's moving on to the braid, a summer staple. Braids are just such a nice way to pull your hair off of your face. And we're going to do a simple French braid in the front. At this point, Amy is taking the brush, combed to keep the volume in place with a little great tease to make it hold all day. Once you tease your top section, it'll be easier to work with and then smooth the top layer over to hide the back combing. Then you just swoop the hair to the side, then pin. Now you're getting a whole new look. It's an easy updo. Simple, yet sophisticated. Now this last look, we're going for a party pony. It's kind of like a Barbie pony, if you will. Start by teasing in a lot of volume from the front and to the side. Once you've wrapped that back into your ponytail, loosely and gently pull those hair strands forward. And this allows you to get a lot of great height up top. Take one section from the pony and then you wrap it around the band to finish the party pony look makes it a little more polished than exposing the rubber band. For a finishing touch, use a little hairspray, tame those flyaways, and your luscious locks are good to go. Bottom line, when your hair looks great, you feel fabulous. Come on in to Blowout. Now, just go to blowoutgirl.com, click on location, select your time, and boom, you're in for a blowout, because it's true what they say. Bad hair days, blow.